production of the, the, the working hours, 40 hour week, has been there since Mussolini's time. 1924, La Carta del Lavoro. Everything's changed since 1924, except the hours of work. Why should we? With all this machinery, computer, technology, why should we work 40 hours? draining our best brains at humdrum, monotonous jobs. No, no, we will free our people. And through the elite, through a culture of learning, lifetime <coughs> education, we will educate and up, and up breed, really, through an education process and so on, and eugenics, and uh, we will uh, uh, educate our people. A lifetime and through the re reduction that, but I can't talk about economics today because it would take a long time and we don't have the time. I must get this through. Yes. So, number five, we talked about the fragmentation of the region. Number six, launching the Imperium from Malta in December 2012. Why Malta? Malta is a sacred island, always has been, with a prehistory dating thousands of years. And we believe of Imperium Europa that we have the best credentials that <coughs> Malta is, was Atlantis. We know this because uh, Atlantis was a big uh, island, five times the size of Sicily, just a few miles away from Sicily, 12 miles, a huge island, at Atlantis. And a cataclysm provoked this splitting up. If you, go to, if you ever visit Malta, go to Dingle Cliffs and you see this sudden falling there, and the cart rats, the, the rats there, like trains, like trains, you know, cart, the train rails, keep going over the cliff. And divers go down and keep going, 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 hit the sea. Nobody knows where they will land, you see, and it's Atlantis. And that's why Malta has 40. We know of more, but we won't divulge them, of course, because you know, uh, we don't trust the government. We know more. There are 40 temples. Why? Because the temple, the hermit, the spiritual man, erects temples on the mountain peak, not in the valley where the farmers toil, or the hill where the nobles erect their castle, but at the mountain, at the very top. So Malta, that's why there's this great concentration. Malta, whatever we dig, whatever, we find temples. The Americans hoped to build the greatest, the largest embassy in the Mediterranean. They started digging home temples, work stopped. Whatever you dig, you'll see. Nah, because it's a sacred island. so. We, we, we know, and that is why the Imperium has to be launched, la chiamata, as the Italians say, from a sacred place. So that is what, one, we are uh, producing a film, an hour-long documentary uh, about Atlantis, our vision, that it's, 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 it's wonderful, we have the world's leading expert on, on, on Atlantis, who's helping us, doing this, it's in progress. The script is ready and so on. If there's anybody here interested in joining this exciting project, please, if you're interested in the city of Atlantis, in the world of Atlantis, please contact me and I'll uh, introduce you straight away to the producer. Now, when Plato described Atlantis as at the gates of whatever, the gates were not Gibraltar, because Gibraltar was, was uh, how do you say? Closed. He, he was referring to the straits between tiny Sicily and this huge Atlantis. That's what he was referring to, Plato, you see? But anyway, there. So this is why the Imperium has to be launched in Malta. That's number one. Number two, because regeneration, restoration, instauration always comes from the periphery. Always. You can't have regeneration from a fetid, corrupt center. It's always Napoleon, Corsica. Counter-revolution in Spain, Franco, Canarias. A vagabond in a tiny town, Braunau, on the, on the border between Austria and Germany. This great revolution turning Germany into a world power in a matter of a few years. 
to the tiny village periphery. That's always the case. Regeneration is always. And you can't get more peripheral than Malta. We're 60 miles south of the north coast of Tunisia. We're south. Tunisia's here. We're here. You can't get more peripheral than Malta. So it has to be launched from Malta for all these reasons. Number seven. Nova Europa metamorphosizes into Imperium Europa. When we have the cloud around 2014, I reckon, 2014, we will not take off the mask, but we will be truthful to ourselves and to everybody and say this Nova Europa business is now ripe to be declared an Imperium. And we form the Imperium with those regions who are with us. Now, what kind of Imperium do we want? Not a British Empire. Cecil Rhodes, economic based, betraying the Transvaal and the Orange Free States, fellow whites. Not that kind of economic empire. Not the Kaiser's Empire, Germans teaching the Herreros German there. You can, if you go to Southwest Africa, you will find the Herreros speaking German. We don't want that kind of imperium. Uh, not an imperium by the Tsar either. Or oh, by Franco Spain, would you believe it, when Hitler, no, backed him. After helping him in the Civil War, he asked him to let special troops go <coughs> to Gibraltar. They would have closed Gibraltar, the Straits, and Britain would have sued for peace because the Suez Canal would have fallen and the Mediterranean would have become an axis. Frankfurt did it, didn't want to. He said, give me Morocco because I want my empire too. You see, he said to Hitler, he said, I can't give you Morocco because Vichy France would switch sides and, and go on the British side. He, you see, this pettiness, he wants his empire. Mannerheim in Finland, when Hitler said, join us in the siege of Leningrad, I said, no, no, we've got Karelia, or whatever they call it there. No, we've got it back now. We don't want to upset the Russians. No, 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 no. We don't want that pettiness anymore. We want an empire for all us Europeans. This is it. <coughs> The Germans could have bombed Gibraltar to, to Smithereen from Algeciras, just across, only four, four miles. You see, the coast of Spain from here. They could have bombed it. They didn't give him access unless you give us Morocco. The short sightedness. Number eight, we want a spiritual imperium, not an economically based imperium. An anagogic feeling of imperium. John Tyndall once wrote an article which I will never forget where he said he felt elated. He had this experience as the Union Jack was being called during a parade. He was in the army or something. And he said, I felt I belonged to something much far, far greater than myself. And I believe it. Because in Malta, as a kid, as a six-year-old, I used to watch the parades of the Brits, you see, every, in Valletta, every Saturday morning. And I used to feel this great pride to belong to such an empire which gave order and propriety everywhere. Of course, I was very young to realize that even then the empire was towards a decline. And uh, John Tyndall felt this, the spirituality. But he did not evolve into an imperium. He wanted a British empire. Butter from New Zealand. The mountains of butter across the channel back. So, you see, we have to get over that, that kind of uh, uh, mentality. No disrespect, of course, but they didn't see ahead. They didn't see ahead. Uh, number eight, Imperium Europa. And when we, we declare in Brussels this group, our petty disputes between each other will disappear because the space up there, stratospheric, up in the